the thing the boards can do is force management to start looking at some of these trends. But more importantly, also in terms of decisions, I think boards have a big, big power. So whether it's a big divestment, whether it's an m and whether it's capital reallocation, whether it's making sure there's enough budgets, there's enough resources, those are the kind of decisions board can push CEOs and, and exec teams into. And that's the kind of strategic longer term thinking that boards need to do, to do rather than just thinking about one year and, and, and shareholder gains. And you're right, the balance is about markets and what they're expecting vis-a-vis -vis longer term. But again, I think good boards are able to tell a story, to, to create a vision, to create a plan, and that, that can make a difference then. One of the things that I think it's important for is signaling. And so without the signal to businesses that this is the future, that we are committed to uh, maximum of one and a half degree temperature rise, I think it then is pretty difficult for boards to, to do the right thing. Mm -hmm. um, so this, if, if there was a single role of the coppers to, and governments in general is to send that signal uh, about what life's going to be like in the future. I just want to just say there's like quite a few angles for businesses to be thinking about this. So the big one for me as a young person is, um, you know, Gen Z, is a, they, ca they care so much about the planet, we all know that. But when we do um, polling about actions that people will take on climate change, you actually find the older generations are much more willing to do many of the things like riding the bus rather than taking a car, doing their recycling. They're much more willing to do that than young people. Part of that is that they've got more time, more energy and more money, frankly, than a lot of young people. I remember going to the G to COP and one of the, an MP said to me, like, well, you say young people care about climate change, but they all buy from Primark. And I was like, yeah, it's because they have no money. Like, the blunt truth is that young people often can't afford to make the sustainable choices that they would like to. So one of the places where they really do see that young people uh, make these decisions is in the workplace. So there's a stat that 65% of Gen Z won't work for an employer that they don't think has good environmental policies. This is the thing young people genuinely want to see businesses leading, uh, leading on. And so if you want the top young talent of the future, you need to be thinking authentically about climate action.